Hey guys, I'm coming to you live. This is like a really awkward angle. I promised I would give you all a quick update on how I was doing today um, and say hi and you know let you know that I was basically okay and functional um, as okay as I can be and so hey Desiree um, if you guys are watching if you can just drop a comment so I know that you can hear me okay it's a little bit loud in here um, one of my eyes is bothering me so if I like rub it a lot I'm really sorry um, but um, basically it's been a little over two weeks since I was um, hit by a car while walking my dog I was in a crosswalk um, at about 8 a.m. before work and um, my injuries were pretty substantial. Um, I've been sort of pretty open about it here on Facebook. Because um, truthfully, things could have been so much worse, you guys, like so much worse. Um, I'm really thankful that um, I have my brain, you know, like I can talk and walk. Well, I can't walk. Um, oh good I'm glad you guys can hear me hey Deb um, hey Lisa thank you thanks I like my hair too um, and so I've been trying to keep a really positive mindset and I think that's really helped me overcome a lot of what's been going on with me and I have a shirt on I'm not in um, weird lab. Um, and I went today to um, the plastics doctor they checked my face I'm gonna have some good news there and um, hey Carol thank you and I went to the I have this like contraption checked out I don't know if you guys can see it but that thing is like stuck into my pelvis bones um, it actually doesn't bother me truthfully the thing that bothers me the most is the fact that I can't get off my rump so like if I'm sitting, I'm on my rump. If I'm laying down, I'm on my rump. I can't get on my side. I can't get on my stomach. Like, I'm always on my rump. So, um, hey, Alex. Thank you. Um, thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. Like, it, honestly, if my struggle helps one person, I'll be super happy. So, um, um, I don't feel great, obviously, but I feel like... well um, I can still function well I can still type and write and I remember things and um, they came and did an eval on me and said I was you know doing um, my face hurts I fractured so I went to the plastics doctor doctor today and as you can see my face actually looks um, pretty normal and for those of you that don't know I actually had a septoplasty and a rhinoplasty about eight years ago and it held up right like it's not bad like the left side of my face isn't um it's really fractured and so when I squint and stuff like my left side doesn't squint as hard and I can't really left um high so thank you yeah Deb positive attitude totally goes a long way so you can see like the left side doesn't really like I don't get wrinkly I don't get squinty um and um, so they said that that will come with time. I probably just like screwed something up um, with a nerve. Oh, Leslie and Alicia, thank you. I'm glad you guys think I look. Um, so they are gonna send me to an ophthalmologist just in case because I'm having some problems with this left eye. Um, but they think that overall, I'm probably gonna be okay on my face. Um, and I have a lot of fractures in my face, which is why it's painful. Like my teeth hurt and I have a fracture here and all up here and I have a lot of fractures, but the fractures are kind of lined up. And so they said I probably won't need surgery because they're going to like kind of blend back together. The bones are lined up to, to go back together. Um, hey Joanne. Um, yeah, I, I'm loving all these comments, you guys. Thanks for showing me the love. Um, so I won't need facial plastic surgery, which I think is great. I think that's awesome news. Um, and they are going to send me, like I said, to the ophthalmologist to make sure there's nothing crazy.
as well as the other eye but that could have something to do with all the fractures on this side and the fact that I like screwed up a nerve but um I don't have any like cuts or anything so they don't think that I like cut the nerve they think that I just like jostled it so I think that that is good hey Jennifer thank you um so I think that's good news for me today um and then I had another appointment I went and saw my was it ortho orthopedist and I'll show you guys this again if you didn't see it a cool little contraption um it's all like crazy it's going into my hip bones crazy right um and saw my orthopedist today and um they were pleased they took x-rays and they were pleased with the way that things were coming along in there um like my hips are coming back together um and that is actually going to come out in like six ish weeks and um i will not have any uh, metal left on my hips so that's huge right like it's a huge nuisance now and it's really awkward and it's hard to move around but not having any metal left in my hips in six weeks is going to be huge for me um, and hopefully like the bones will just kind of mend together again it's really awkward and um, I think that the surgeon made the right decision on doing that for me the other option was to put like a bunch of metal in my body that was going to be there forever um, thanks Suzanne I love the hair too um, and I'm gonna get some color put in it guys so stay tuned for that fun but um, this is a nuisance now but I think in the long term it's definitely the right um, the right decision for me for this hip craziness um, and I found out they took out you guys can this was the part that was shaved and then got like a normal shave but um, I had um, some brain bleeding and a hematoma that they fixed um, with emergency surgery as soon as it happened and um, the stitches are all out and I do have um, some titanium plates in my head that will be there forever which I that out he was like oh I was looking at your x-rays and you have titanium plates in your head and I was like huh okay I have titanium plates in my head sweet so I have titanium plates in my head um and I'm gonna have those forever but they don't bother me. What bothers me the most right now is just the fact that I'm always on my butt um it gets really annoying and this eye is annoying me um but it could be you know a lot worse I know it's kind of early for me to be on like a lot of people aren't even home from work yet especially West Coast people but um, I had a really busy day today obviously like I had physical therapy and occupation you know doing that obviously every day and then I was gone all day at all these appointments so um, I'm pretty tired and um, I nap like a 90 year old woman sorry if there are any 90 year old women out there tonight but um, I just randomly fall asleep I get so tired I just fall asleep but they said that's normal like for brain injuries when your brain kind of like is healing and it needs to rest you'll just like fall asleep which I do a lot I honestly I'm like just sitting here and I just pass out um, so yeah so um, I'm going to be, you know, here a while longer, like probably another four to six weeks. I'm in a rehab facility. Um, I'm not going to say the name online for just privacy reasons, but um, I'm very, very happy here. The nurses are great. The wonderful. Um, I'm comfortable. Um, and see, you guys, I can't really like fully smile with this side of my face yet, but that's the nerve thing too on this side. <laughs> But it's getting better I think it's getting better and I'm have a positive attitude about that too I think everything is gonna be fine I think everything's gonna get better um, I'm making progress I'm making progress and that's so important and I have to tell you guys you know I am so thankful that I was healthy before this because I truly believe that's one of the reasons that um, I broke as little as I did yes I broke my head and I broke my pelvis but I didn't break my arms or my back or my legs um, and you know I broke my face but like not fully you know like not to the point where I need surgery or anything like that or it's really that noticeable um, so I'm always having to adjust because my butt see 
Um, but I'm really, really thankful that I was healthy before. Um, that my bones were strong and that I lifted weights um, because that helps your bone density. I mean, there's so many things that I'm thankful for, but that is a huge, a huge part of why I think that my recovery is going so well. So I'm going to be here a while um, just because no matter how well your recovery is going, my hips still have to set back in place. Um, and I'm going to be off my feet a while because of that. But I truly, but I wanted to come on here because I know a lot of people were looking for um, an update of like, what the heck is Jillian doing? So that's my update for you guys is that um, I'm probably going to be here another four to six weeks that um, I don't need a lot of plastics done in my face. Oh my God, Jillian, I look gorgeous. You're, you're so sweet. I don't know about gorgeous, but um, you know, I feel okay. Like I feel okay. You know, I'm wearing like regular clothes and, um, you know, um, small victories. You don't realize like how important it is to be able to get yourself dressed in the morning and, um, get up and go to the bathroom and stuff that you take for granted every day until you can't do it anymore. So that's sort of something to think about, you know, um, is that like, I'm really thankful that I can do those things. I'm thankful that I can go to the bathroom now and that I can, um, get dressed and all that sort of stuff because I couldn't do that at first um, on my own so um, just having that little bit of sort of like pride and self-worth is really important um, and if you guys are local and you'd like to come visit um, shoot me a message you are more than welcome to I will let you know if I'm exhausted or if I have stuff going on I kind of know like my schedule so um, I'll let you know if you know I'm around if you want to come visit um, and say hi, you don't have to stay very long, um, and you don't have to bring anything, but if you'd like to say hi, I, I am here, so thank you, Courtney, you're so sweet, um, thank you, Kathy, I do, I feel like I'm doing well, and for those of you that may be going through something crappy, like, I get it, life is hard, um, happier, and think about, like, the positive, outlook you know like that I feel like this could be so much crappier for me and having a positive outlook has really 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 helped me and probably makes it a lot easier for me at the rehab because all the nurses are like wow she's like really nice so we'll go see her um thank you Sarah oh thank you Elaine you're so sweet so yeah if you guys need anything you know please reach out I'm here um, if I'm sleeping, because I pass out, like I said, like a 90-year-old woman randomly, I won't answer you. But if I'm around, I will certainly um, try to answer you. I'm going to be out of work for a while longer because um, I am not, like, super functional and I have OT and PT and stuff during the day. Um, so, yeah. But I'm here um, and I'm glad I was able to come on and quickly update you guys. I will try to um, come on at least once a week. Um, just to give you a quick update of what's going on with me. But if you have any questions in the meantime, um, feel free to reach out. And I know this was kind of like scatterbrained and crazy, but um, I'm feeling decent, not great, because I think it's really hard to feel great, but I'm feeling decent, all things considered. I'm making progress every single day. That's like the most important thing. Um, my body hurts, but um, that's to be expected. So, um, anyway, so I hope that you guys have a great, um, rest of your, what the hell day is it? It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. TJIF tomorrow, guys. Um, if you guys like this video and you want more updates like this, please, like, drop me some love, hit that like button, hit that love button, um, let me know, and I'll be sure to, you know, keep you updated and, um, what's going on um thanks that. so it looks like there's a lot of likes and love so hopefully I can keep you guys updated going forward um so yeah if you need anything I'm here I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday I'm probably gonna go fall asleep like a weird nine-year-old woman um and get up at like two in the morning because that's what I do around here it feels like but that's okay um this too shall pass and I and I will get better and I am sure of it so um I hope you have a great rest of your night I am hanging in there um I could be better but it could be a lot worse
that's what I have to say. I have a long, long road of rehab ahead of me. Um, I have no doubt about that. It's going to be a very long road. Um, but I'm prepared for it, and I am sure that I come out of this better than I went into it. Uh, me and my middle plated head will come out of this better than I went into it. All right, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Bye.